In the United States, we celebrate Halloween every October 31st, but in Mexico and a handful of other Spanish countries, they celebrate another holiday on the days following Halloween that was the basis of a celebration at the Crossing Arts Alliance in Brainerd on Saturday. Clayton Castle has that story. We're still a few weeks away from the hallowed holiday on October 31st, but on Saturday, the Crossing Arts Alliance was celebrating and teaching children about another holiday, celebrated in Mexico, called Dia de los Muertos. And the idea is to remember people who have died by making their favorite foods, by putting altars in your house, which basically means putting up a photo of them, putting the foods out, bringing in marigold flowers. Unlike other remembrances of those who have passed, Dia de los Muertos is not meant to be a somber holiday. Dia de los Muertos is a very festive holiday. It's, it's a celebration and remembering of the dead, but it's not a somber holiday. It's a, it's a celebration. The Crossing Arts Alliance, which just moved to its new location on Laurel Street in downtown Brainerd, put on its second arty party of the year, allowing kids to take part in crafts to celebrate Dia de los Muertos. We have three different craft projects. We have sugar skulls, papel picados, and a paper flower project. Lisa Jordan says Dia de los Muertos was a perfect idea for the monthly second Saturday celebration because it's something that's not well known in the community. It's something different and we may not see a lot of that kind of celebration in our community, so it was fun to introduce the kids to that, that event and the different crafts that go along with it. But most importantly, the kids had fun and just enjoyed making art. It was really fun and I had a lot of things to choose from and do. I made a sugar skull, it's half evil, half good, and I made a flower. Dia de los Muertos is celebrated in New Mexico every November 1st and 2nd. Reporting in Brainerd, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. The holiday is also known as the Day of the Dead, coinciding with the holidays Halloween, All Saints Day, and All Souls Day. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.